Hey guys, how's it going? Now we all love to install new apps on our Windows and PCs to really enhance the productivity and make the system a little versatile. But did you guys know that Microsoft itself has its own suite of some great apps and utilities that you can install on your device? Well, it's called Microsoft Power Toys and trust me, even if you haven't heard about it, it packs in a lot of utilities that to be very honest, should be present on Windows 10 by default. This is Varun from Guiding Tech and today I'll show you how you can make use of Microsoft Power Toys on your Windows 10 PC. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, you obviously need to install Power Toys on your PC. That's quite easy, just head over to the link in the description box for GitHub and download the exe from there and install it. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so the first tool here is Universal Color Picker. Once you have it enabled, just press Windows plus Shift plus C. Now when you hover your mouse cursor over the color you would like to copy, just press the left mouse button. Now if you want to see the area around your cursor in more detail, scroll up to zoom in. The copied color will be stored in your clipboard in the format that is configured in the settings, which is either the hex code or the RGB code. This is really good for someone who's into graphic designing or someone who has that artistic vision and has to play a lot with colors in his system. Now moving on, one of the most underrated features but one of literally the best features of Microsoft Power Toys is Fancy Zones. With Fancy Zones, you can define zones for your apps to align to. You can either select from the predefined zones or set a custom layout. Basically, the idea here is to create zones where you can just drag and put in your app windows which will automatically align. It basically takes the windows snapping tool to a better extent and makes the whole process of basically putting multiple windows on your screens a lot easier. This is a great tool for multitaskers and someone who does not have a secondary PC window and has to have all of their windows and apps on the same screen. Moving on, we have the File Explorer Preview. Nothing fancy, it just adds a bit of extra functionality to the File Explorer, allowing you to preview more files in the preview pane. It's mostly for viewing SVG files, but recent developments suggest that it could allow to preview even more file types, so yeah. Now moving on, we have the Image Resizer, the tool that I use quite a lot often in my day-to-day -day usage. It's basically a Windows shell extension for bulk image resizing. Once you have it enabled, just right click on one or more selected image files in the file explorer and then just select resize pictures from the menu. You can select predefined sizes or set custom resolutions depending upon your needs. It's so simple and so fast, it makes you wonder why Windows hasn't included this feature by default in Windows 10. Now moving along, Power Toys also comes with a keyboard manager tool which basically allows you to customize the keyboard to be more productive by remapping keys and creating your own keyboard shortcuts. You can remap some keys to create your own custom keyboard layout and even modify shortcuts. You know, change Ctrl C to Windows plus C if you want to. It's all up to you. Next up, you have Power Rename, which is a very good tool for someone who has to, well, deal with a lot of renaming of bulk files. Power Rename allows simple search and replace function for your rename facility. Now while you type in the search and replace input fields, the preview area will show you what the items will be renamed to. The best part here is that the process is done by the Windows Explorer only, so if for some reason you want to revert back, a simple undo or control Z will roll back the file names to what they were. And now we have my favorite feature which is Power Toys Run. Think of it as Mac OS's Spotlight, but for Windows 10. No, seriously, it's literally that good. You can trigger it by simply pressing Alt plus Space and then type whatever you want to search. A file, a folder, something on the web, do a math calculation, anything and Power Toys Run is there for you. In fact, I also talked about this in our previous video where I spoke about how you can get some of Mac OS features on your Windows 10 PC. So yeah, if that is something that you're looking for, make sure to check out that video from the link in the card here or the link in the description box. And lastly, there's the shortcut guide. There's nothing much to it, it's basically a guide that appears when a user holds the Windows key down for more than a second and it just shows the available shortcuts for the current state of the desktop. Now I can understand that it might look a little too complex, well then don't worry, we also have another video talking about the 18 best keyboard shortcuts for Windows users that you should definitely know about. Trust me, that is a must watch for every Windows user who wants to increase their productivity. So yeah, make sure to check that out as well. And with that, we come to the end of this video. 
Now, if you like this video or found it helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Varun from Guiding Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.